Hey YouTube, we got a little uh, self quarantine project going on this weekend. I'm not talking about the virus, but we're, I'm not quarantined. I'm in Ohio. We're still working, still moving around. But I'm calling it my uh, self quarantine project. So my RC four wheel drive Forerunner has an opening hood. So just keep the uh, true to scale with class zero. Although I just found out it's not a requirement, but the hood opens, so we're gonna have an engine bay. Now I've already started it, so I apologize for not taking a picture with this together, but I ordered the uh, Knight Customs Shapeway engine cover. I think it's the uh, 22RE. And actually, I think I put the turbo decal on this, so it's not going to be 100% correct, but you open the hood, there's going to be something in there. So, it will look cool. This all came as, like, they 3D print it together. I already put the I put the radiator assembly in, which is the radiator, the overflow tank, windshield washer tank, and a battery cover. I think I have that fitted in there where I need it. And once I uh, paint it, I'll probably just glue it to the front of the the thing. I did have to I did have to cut the magnet. I actually cut the plastic and a little bit of the magnet just because I wanted that to really actually fit in there the way it should. So I guess well, that was the most difficult part. And it comes with a little brake booster, windshield wiper motor, and I believe that's probably a vacuum canister. And I think this is the fuse box. So I've already figured out they have little pegs. I'll probably drill a couple holes and I'll stick the brake booster over there, cover that interior screw, and maybe put the other one over in here. I know that's going to be hard to see. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way, but <clears throat> I'll do a couple more videos probably, or, or maybe a finished one. Probably not as I'm doing it. The engine cover itself, I actually, I mean, that, that is where it's going to go, except it's a little crooked, so bear with me. But what I do know is the hood will close right now. So is all I have to do is grind some bits on this side and I think I'm going to use my Dremel with the uh, round sanding drum because of the motor and the motor bracket in there I just need to get this side of it to set down and I think we'll be there this probably won't stay there I'll try to show you that's about what it's going to look like and I think what I'll do is once I get everything fit I'm gonna I think I have some black material that maybe I'll drape over everything inside of here so that when you open the hood I mean you're gonna see black you're not gonna see the wires and stuff I think that'll kind of take you know a little bit away from seeing what's under there and of course yeah I'm gonna I'll detail everything paint everything up black wash it make it look used <clears throat> so that'll be cool so that's that's my main project for today, although not knowing what this uh, virus is going to do to my area and quarantining, I've already, I've already prepared for that, so mail lady just stopped and dropped off another uh, pretty cool project. Whether or not we get quarantined or not, it's going to get done, but I'm not going to be in a hurry. My forerunners, the main project. And nobody on YouTube knows, but just recently, a couple months ago, I purchased a 2012 Toyota Tundra four door, four wheel drive. I've been looking for one for a while, so I finally got myself one. So now I have a little project to uh, go with that the Orlando OH32 PO2 kit. So this is the IFS kit with the Toyota Tundra body and I opted for the ready to run version that comes with the radio of course the truck kit uh, motor, motor gearbox assembly 
steering servo, lipo battery, charger, and I believe, I think it had the sound kit too, so I don't know if that's already in the box or where that is. But I think it had a sound kit. I don't know. And lights. But I could be wrong. But this is the one with the uh, scale chassis. And like I said, it's it's independent front suspension. True to scale like the truck should be. Uh, this is going to be cool. I can't wait to uh, start that. So that's a quick little update. Get the Toyota going. Get that engine in there. Maybe start that kit. I'll talk to you guys later.